I want to welcome all of you on behalf of Dr. Lisa Kaplowitz. She's our board chair. She's out of the country and couldn't be here today with us, but she's the senior medical director at the Center for Substance Abuse Treatment of SAMHSA, and she was formerly the health officer for the city of Alexandria. We also have two of our other officers here, Jane Woods. Jane? I know you're here. There you is, back there. She's vice chair of the board, is a lobbyist, and was the former Secretary of Health and Human Serv Resources under Governor Mark Warner. Jeff Schrag, right next to her, our treasurer, is a partner in the McLean Office of BDO. We also have more board members here. We, can we have more than enough for a quorum, so I want to introduce them. One is Marsha Allgaier that you may all know. For 10 years, she was a deputy county manager for Arlington County, where she served for 37 years. Dr. Judy Fader on this corner is a professor of public policy and founding dean of McCourt School of Public Policy at Georgetown University. Being a founding dean means not only do you have vision, but you have to raise a lot of money. Um, Jean Franklin is a healthcare attorney in private practice. She's right over here. And of course, Bertie Haywood, who retired as the deputy county manager for Fairfax County after 28 years in that position, but he served 32 years in the county, so I think he understands our issues. The work of the foundation is reflected in the 10th anniversary annual report. A copy is in everyone's folder. It tells part of the story of what we have accomplished, how we work, who are some, it highlights some of our grantees, and it talks about our partners. But the reason I want to be up here with you today is that on behalf of the board of directors, I want to take this opportunity to recognize that our success would not have been possible without the leadership, thoughtfulness, patience, and sometimes the necessary tenaciousness of our CEO, Pat Matthews. The members of the board, as well as the many in the communities we serve, recognize how key you have been to everything we have done and will do. So as we work through the agenda, we celebrate 10 years of service that Pat has with the foundation, and most important, the decades she has served these communities. And with that, let me turn the program over to Pat. Thank you.